In this interesting episode, guys, we are talking about the following subject. We are talking about college jobs transfer news. Well, interestingly, a lot of you guys have been focusing on college jobs signing players like uh, the other 10 players. You forgot that college jobs basically they want to sign another player from Morocco Salos, and this player plays in the goalkeeping department. So, I am interested to know who who um, have been identified by Kaza Chiefs as a, a, a new addition to Kaza Chiefs in the goalkeeping department. Well, don't worry, because I've got you covered. Are you interested? Stick around. To those that will stick around, guys, if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, guys, it is free of charge. Now, back into the video. Good people. Well, um, kickoff.com chronicles the story, and they've got this to say for us, right? Um, seeing that Color Chiefs wants to sign this player, Color Chiefs are looking for a young goalkeeper, and Shabalala fits the profile. He played for Kaza Chiefs reserve team before joining uh, Solos FC and the club has identified him as a potential signing for next season, a source has revealed, right? Um, Shabalala also played for Orlando Parrot and Beat Vets Juniors before uh, before turning profession, professional few years ago. Amakose has also been linked with uh, Portugal-based midfielder Camogelo Godisang. All right, all right, all right. So we don't have a problem with that. Maybe Chips ventured into the transfer market to bolster their squad for next season after parted ways with number of. Uh, players recently. Amakase are currently having three goalkeepers, Bruce Vuma, Ike Kuna, and Brandon Peterson, after parting ways with Daniela Bay last week. This publication has gathered that Shabalala is set to join um, Kamohelo Kodisang and Dillion Solomon from, um, from Solos FC on the way to Nature Arena next season. Right? 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 No? No, we hear you. We hear you. We hear you. Um, good people, were you aware that Kaiser Chiefs are actually interested to bring a new goalkeeper? Well, I know. I know you guys were not aware. I know you guys were not aware. Nevertheless, good people, uh, this this player, like I said, uh, like he has been profiled by ekickoff.com to say he once played for Kaiser Chiefs Juniors. All on a parrot and beat that before turning into professional. Now, with all that being said and done, good people, what to talk about it now? Eh? Eh, because also it has been mentioned that Kaza Chiefs have got only three goalkeepers, which I think they need more than that. But um, previously, I've heard that they wanted to promote him Lever from the develop development side. Sorry. So I, I, I don't know why they are not thinking along those lines or they just want to buy ooh, this goalkeeper because yeah, well, when it comes to goalkeepers as well, uh, if one injured, let's say for instance, if, if, if Brandon Peterson is injured, then you are left with uh, Bruce Vuma and Ikemel and Kone. Uh, let's say for instance, he's injured for the rest of the season, you are left with the two goalkeepers. The problem is, nah, if for instance, you have these two goalkeepers, another one gets injured, so you are left with just one goalkeeper for the entire season, which is a very huge risk. That's why they need more than one goalkeeper, and it makes a lot of sense. I mean, so I said more than one, they need more than three goalkeepers, so that means if, if you've got four goalkeepers, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Now, what's your take, good people? Having said that, what's a take? The only way for me to know what's a take it is for you to get into the comment section below. So guys, let the conversation begin right now, right here. 